Cheers. Good morning. Today, I want to show you everything that I carry in my work bag because I'm about to step out the door, but this bag is so heavy right now. And it's usually pretty heavy because it has like all of my work stuff in it, but this is just totally overkill. So I'm actually gonna show you everything in it and then kind of do my own cleaning at the same time because some stuff doesn't need to sit in here. So first of all, this is a Louis Vuitton book tote, laptop tote. And the best feature of it is it's got these like expander clips to make the bag a little bit a little bit more flexible for big things and that's like really my favorite feature of it also there is a little zip pocket in it but the rest of it just like lays open like this so you always need to be careful you're not like swinging it around windmill style all right so right off the bat the heaviest thing in here is my work laptop and my little mouse pad I cannot do anything without a mouse pad. I can't even like use a trackpad anymore. And then my little mouse. So actually, Desert Island, that's probably the most important thing I need. <laughs> um, okay, the, also a reason why my bag is so heavy today is because I'm bringing a lot of stuff in to take to my desk and like have in my desk for the winter. So this wouldn't normally be in here. Like I've got my little honey lemon drops. This is gonna go sit in a desk drawer. More stuff to sit in a desk drawer, the gum and stress gummies that I picked up from Whole Foods. Although, if that gum is good, I'm gonna keep it in here. Oh wait, okay, speaking of, more gum. Just a pack of Trident. Woo! My little texting gloves. These guys are so cute. This makes me feel young again. My little walking around. I'm, I'm always wearing these when I walk to the office because I am like on my phone texting with my head down. It's actually so dangerous. Next up, not surprising, sunglasses. I usually wear um, all black sunglasses, but you know, lately life and the outdoors have been so dark. We're doing something lighter just to protect the eyes, but not to be like total blackout mode. So these are my little Velas, also um, commonly known as my perv glasses, <laughs> because like if I wear them on the bridge of my nose with some kind of stylish outfit, it looks okay. But as soon as I go like this and cover like my eyebrows with it, I look a little bit like a caricature of a perv, um, but that's fashion. Next up, this all lives inside of like, there's one small pocket and it's like the pocket for important stuff. So, oh God, Th this is where we can trim off some inches around the edges. Cause like, I don't need all this stuff. AirPods, actually definitely need. These are my house keys. Wallet, wallets just got credit cards, Metro card and my ID. These are actually keys to Greg's apartment because I'm letting someone into his apartment later tonight. These are my little perfume samples. I think these are, this is Marc Jacobs Daisy and these two are Glossier. And I always have these just floating around in the bottom of my bag. Just cause I'm doing a bag clean out does not mean I'm gonna get rid of this excessive three vials. Wired headphones, cause in case the AirPods die. Listerine breath strips. These are kind of old school. I got these because I was looking for that Listerine like um, mint spray, which I'm pretty sure is just like diluted Listerine, but I couldn't find them anywhere. I don't even know if they still make them. So I settled for these. Also good alternative to gum and mints. Loose Band-Aid, I honestly probably don't need that. A crusty little bottle of Tatcha lotion. It's actually the wrong Tatcha lotion inside, but this I've only been carrying because I get like my nose has been getting so dry and crusty that sometimes I need to just like take a swipe and then wipe it all over. My little ID card to get into my office building, some Laneige lip gloss. All right, let's let's move into this front pocket. Hand sanitizer. This front pocket's usually where I'll put my phone too, because when I'm walking, I can just slip it, slip my hand in, pull it out. All my very important messages that I'm definitely getting. Okay, um, there's also this little pen pocket right here. This is secondary important things because they're the easiest to reach. Tied to go stick. I don't always carry this on me. Um, this actually might have to stay behind. A pen. 
And then, of course, the Glossier U Rollerball Perfume. I love this. I just got this at Black Friday. Actually, we're calling an audible. I think I'm going to leave behind the three samples of perfume and just carry this Glossier U. It doesn't seem necessary anymore. Oh, and then I've got a little um, eyelash and eyebrow spoolie for my eyelashes. Now we're getting into the good stuff. This is like bottom of the bag. You don't even, this all probably is garbage we're about to pull out. This disaster. Two loose face masks, <laughs> pink and purple. I don't even think I want that because it's just been sitting at the bottom of my bag, so it's kind of gross. Another hand sanitizer. Definitely don't need this. Um, Anti-itch ointment. Very important for um, post-jellyfish scar sting care. I just hate that it's called like itch ointment. Like, could you get any dorkier? A pack of Tylenol Extra Strength. I actually don't think I need this. It's very rare that I'm like on the go and I can't wait until I get home or like get to somewhere with Tylenol, but I guess it's good to have. Um, some contact lenses. These aren't even the right prescription for me, but for an emergency. We've got two packs of matches. Whenever I'm at a restaurant and they've got free business cards or free matches up front, I always take them. I don't need the matches. I don't smoke. I've got something to light my um, candles at home. But sometimes the boxes are so cool. So this one's from Westlight at the William Vale Hotel in Brooklyn, and this one's from The Modern. It's a restaurant attached to MoMA. And this one's got a nice little box. That's probably why I took it. Other things. We have a little Glossier mirror. It says, you look good. This I know I don't need in here. I always carry this in my bag when I'm on an airplane, though, because I like to pull it out to put on a little makeup or a lotion in the middle of a flight or whatever but I don't need this here. Plus I like always have my phone, so you know, it doesn't make sense. Okay, now we've also got one singular tampon and then I know I've got more of these. These are my little liquid IVs which I just pop into my water when I'm feeling super dehydrated. I never carry these in my bag, but again, I'm taking these to my desk office, um, my desk drawer at the office to just have around. I've also got this little snack this is like the healthy, gross version of a fruit by the foot. I only started buying these because once I was really, really hungry and really tired and Cindy gave me one and I ate it in like one second and it was the best tasting thing I've ever had. And now I just associate that with whenever I eat these. This is not my preferred candy. I like like hardcore candy like Nerds and Starburst and Skittles. This is a little bit too healthy for my taste, but they are pretty good. Um, oh, okay, here we go. Here's the other set, the contact lenses. Both still outdated prescriptions. And then we've got another um, set of matches. This is from Bar et Yarden, uh, De La Aunt Bernie. Well, I, don't, I cannot believe, I cannot believe how terrible that pronunciation just sounded, but I don't even know what this is from. I definitely don't need to be taking this many matches into my place of work every single day. Um, one hair tie. I'm surprised I haven't found more hair ties. Actually, I was kind of hoping there was going to be this claw clip I've lost recently in here, but I don't think it is. This is a Hudson Yards pen. My dad and I have matching ones and we keep it on our bags. I usually keep this on my backpack, but lately it's been like loosely falling off and I've just coincidentally caught it every time it's about to fall off. So I'm putting it on the inside pocket of my purse. A nickel. Okay, now we're gonna go into this, this pocket, the zip pocket. This is where like very important things. Oh, this is bad. Okay, so here's an extra face mask. Ah, <laughs> God, another hand sanitizer. I, this is not, everybody, I like to live a pretty organized life. This was not planned, but I don't know why I have three hand sanitizers of varying emptiness levels in here. This one's completely unopened. I'm just trying to think if I like put this in here to like give to someone for some reason because I don't know why I would put, I don't know why I wouldn't like open this before putting it in here. Okay, oh, this is two pieces of mail. Both are bills, not exciting. 
Um, this is my avocado to-do list. I actually do usually carry this with me because um, I like to keep track of everything I've done during the work day on some kind of notepad that looks like this. We've got these little like dental floss thingies that you can kind of discreetly floss in public. This should not be in here. It is a roll of emergency duct tape with like hair stuck to it. This is from, my dad gave this to Laura and me when we were in France because we need to close up holes in these inflatable tubes at, at the like villa's pool. And then I threw it in my backpack and then from my backpack I must have thrown it into this bag when I was unpacking. I have no idea why. But it's just like a little, little mini duct tape roll for emergencies. Um, hand lotion. This is super important. Duh. <laughs> For winter time for my crusty hands also because i like rode in school this is how i always put lotion on because i usually have calluses on the front parts of my hands so i don't rub lotion in on them okay this is just a little business card playing card from aussie wind a magician's show that i saw a couple weeks ago good souvenir does not need to be in here and then oh We've got a dime, 15 cents sitting around. That's why you need to clean out your bags, guys. Um, this is just my notebook. I do not usually ever carry this with me, but lately I've been having crazy, crazy dreams, like so vivid and I'm, I'm remembering them every single day, but I remember them sometimes like triggered in the middle of the day. And instead of like putting them on a sticky note on my phone, I put all of my dreams in this one journal. So it's always consolidated here. Therefore, I need to carry this brick around with me. I'm not going to do this forever, but just temporarily because I like to have all my cool thoughts in one one place. And it's always like, it's always triggered by something super random and it's a really inconvenient time, but it's good to just have this around so I can transfer my thoughts quickly. And that is all, you guys. That is everything in my bag. I need to repack this before I head out the door, but there you go. Very exciting stuff. I don't know. I thought I would have more chapstick in here than I do. All right, I literally, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this inspires you to clean out your bag. I doubt it is as bad as mine, but um, I hope everybody has a great bug-free day and I will talk to you guys very soon. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.